And at ABC, I worked on the Reason Report. And it, I also worked on 2020 for about two weeks. And I got fired. Well, I, um, Bob Shanks, I don't even know if he's still alive, but Bob Shanks was my boss. And he informed me that I would be shooting the pieces because I was very good interview interviewing people. I would shoot the pieces and then I would send the pieces back and I would stay on the road and that he would edit them. And I thought about it and thought about it and I thought I really couldn't let someone else edit my pieces. I had to be in the editing room. And so I thought when I told him that he'd say, well, in your case, we'll make an exception because you're so brilliant, we'll keep you. you know? And he said, well, then you'll have to go. So I left and I didn't have a job. And then I wound up at CBS about three months. I was unemployed for three months. I remember the unemployment line, too, on West 81st Street. But anyway, I, so I was on unemployment. Then I heard about um, CBS. I worked at CBS for about eight or nine months with Andy Lack was my colleague there. And that was where I met Mike Wallace and Dan Rather and all the people that I so respect in this business. <clears throat> and, um, and then I heard about the HBO job, and that's where I've been ever since. But it wasn't like I knew what I was doing. I just did things to make us to get a salary, and um, I sort of went with the flow. I never. I mean, I was aggressive, but I never sought out a career in television. I really didn't. I sought out not being bored. I sought out recognition for what I was doing. But I think I could easily have done something different. I mean, had the theater been open, I might have been a theater director. Had I had the guts, I might have gone to California and tried to direct movies, not narrative movies. But I really didn't. I just kind of went where the, you know, just went with the, you know. I wanted, I needed a check. Remember, yeah. I, I didn't want to ask for anything. <laughs>